DP here with Veterans Network Champions Club. Want to send out a quick message regarding the email that we all received today from the VA regarding the proposed disability rating changes for sleep apnea, mental health, and tinnitus. So one of the biggest things obviously is what does this mean? What's going to happen? How does this affect veterans currently? So one of the things that I'm going to do, hence why I'm kind of giving you a heads up here, is doing a current affairs where I want to have a conversation about this. I'll do it live, bring up some of the studies, some of the things that they're looking at. So this is going to be happening within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on scheduling here. So this is your warn that uh, we're going to have a deeper discussion about it but one of the biggest things I want to emphasize here uh, is one don't be alarmed right this is a proposal Uh, if you read the email all the way at the bottom it specifically says that we have 60 days uh, for the public to be able to provide feedback before these changes take effect so it's a cycle of how this all happens that being said and done I really just want to bring attention to the last part where it specifically says that no change to veterans rating uh, would occur due to these proposed changes. If the proposed changes are finalized, veterans who currently receive compensation for a service-connected condition can apply for an increase, right, if now they have a better chance to be able to argue that versus how it used to be looked at. Uh, But no reduction shall be made unless improvement to the veteran's disability uh, are noted or recorded, right? So here, uh, what I want to look at is specifically some of the changes, specifically the mental health side of the house, there's a lot of things that the VA never really captured correctly. So we have the ability now to have that captured with some of the new ways that they're looking at uh, considering veterans' mental health. And this is based off of current conflicts, things that have happened since 9-11 to now, prolonged deployments, exposure, family concerns, all these things that are happening. So there's a lot of more stimulus and stressors that veterans are dealing with now that weren't probably captured correctly in the current way that the VA evaluates. Uh, disability mental health rating. So when it comes to that, for example, that's a huge one. So I want to definitely spend some time talking about that, citing the RAND, looking at the uh, HUDAS report uh, assessment that they're using uh, to be able to get a better picture. So new things are coming to light. A lot of it has to do with things that veterans have brought up as is already uh, regarding the things that we've been dealing with. So biggest thing here is don't fret don't be alarmed we're going to have a conversation about it i want to take a deeper dive and really just talk through it so stand by for another email saying that we'll be doing a live so it'll be a current affairs specifically for the va proposed disability rating changes so uh don't don't fret don't fear someone may say something they're going to come get your rating all these different things no what we need to do is be aware of the changes that are happening have a plan of action to be able to proceed forward and know what this means now so if these things are adopted, what is being considered and how to better tell your story, how to better tell your truth, how to better position yourself to get the rating you deserve, because many of you all have been denied because maybe the rating criteria didn't factor in certain things that you know to be true, but the rating criteria maybe didn't respect that or recognize that. So some of these changes uh, hopefully will make that better. So this is a potentially positive uh, situation for veterans, but we have to have a conversation about what that means if we're having to reframe our argument to make sure that our truth is being captured correctly. So stay tuned. Uh, There'll be another broadcast with the actual time and date for that. If you can make the live, don't worry about it. You'll be able to see it on a replay. But with this email, I just want to add this quick primer. Uh, So again, don't freak out. Don't be alarmed. Continue business as usual. Nothing's been changed. We have 60 days to have a conversation. And then we feel, for example, that we need to make an argument, right, to be able to address certain key points. And we'll make those arguments both collectively as in, in, as well as individuals. So uh, DP here again with Veterans Network Champions Club. Make sure that you are uh, keeping an eye out for email. The YouTube where you probably saw this video when I attach it to the email is where you are going to see us go live there as well. So make sure you're subscribing and you're clicking the notification bell so you know what we're doing so more to follow by by way of updates but i want to just kind of get ahead and share this for you all